41 days before being assassinated, President Abraham Lincoln gave his second inaugural address where he addressed a broken country that was divided. He spoke about the importance of having malice towards none while possessing charity for all. Now, as I've done my research into this particular speech, and as I've traveled and toured around Washington, D.C., I've been to the Lincoln Memorial, and I wanted to use this picture as my, my visual aid for this. Here in the Lincoln Memorial, on the walls around um, the statue of Abraham Lincoln, are the words of this second inaugural address transcribed into the walls of having malice towards none and charity for all. Although his words were spoken in 1865, they are very relevant to the current state of our country. In an effort to unite a once divided nation, President Lincoln laid out a plan to promote peace, which included having malice towards none and charity for all. Through my words, I will highlight the importance and relevance of having malice towards none in our society today. In addition, I will also elaborate on the need to possess charity for all as we work to unite our country today. So Abraham Lincoln's second inaugural address was given in 1865, March 4th, 1865 in Washington, D.C. This was about a month before the Civil War had officially concluded. The Confederacy was being pushed and driven back, and they would eventually surrender to the Union. But again, this was a month before the Civil War concluded, so the country was just as divided as it ever would be. Now, although we aren't currently in a civil war in the year 2024, I believe there is a big conflict going on in our country with political views, beliefs, and opinions. And it just seems like our country and, and the citizens of it are very hateful um, and, and very quick to judge one another. We're very easy to look at each other's faults and weaknesses rather than overlooking their weaknesses and seeing their strengths and seeing the good things that they possess. So this address in 1865, I found it to be so relevant to our political and societal climate even in this year of 2024. As our country grows ever more divided through politics, opinions, and beliefs, we must be a source of light and love since we are the rising generations of Americans. As the future of this great country, we must eliminate hatred or malice and distaste from others from our lives. We must overlook people's weaknesses and focus on their strengths and therefore eliminate malice from our lives. In addition to the elimination of hatred, we must promote charity for all, to be of service and to look for opportunities to strengthen our neighbors rather than bringing them down. Again, to focus on their strengths and focus on the good things that they can do, to serve one another, to look for opportunities to be of help and to be of love and to cheer one another up. As I've read this speech and prepared for my own remarks today, I've been able to do some self-reflecting and think about in what ways in my life I could eliminate malice and really focus on charity. And a few of those ways are what I've already discussed today, just looking for opportunities to serve while also eliminating uh, malice by overlooking weaknesses and focusing on people's strengths. President Lincoln's message focused on unity. It focused on peace. It focused on love. In effort to unite this once divided nation, President Lincoln spoke about eliminating malice while possessing charity. And those are the few two main points I've discussed today, the elimination of hatred and the possession of love and the focus of having charity in our lives. 159 years later, these words are still very relevant in our society today. What version of America do we want to grow up in? And more importantly, what version of America do we want to leave behind as our children inherit this great country? Through the elimination of malice and the possession of charity, we can inspire a new America that is united and peaceful.